I find this interesting because I also am feeding the hummingbirds and there's so many hummers around the feeders now. So she has one feeder out where all the hummingbirds seem to be fighting. She wants to get another one and she wants to know how far away she should put the second one to keep the birds from fighting. Well, that's a, that's a great question. And uh, it, it, it's easy in a way you can, you can separate the feeders, uh, maybe 10 feet at least, but in some cases, it's not going to matter. One, one male, typically a male, sometimes a female, will try to dominate every feeder in the yard if they can. That tends to happen when there's fewer birds and plenty of food. They can waste the energy to fight. As weather changes and as more birds start to move through the area and as food becomes less available, they will stop fighting or, or almost stop fighting. They'll really slow it down. And uh, you can have bird sharing feeders. You see the pictures from out west where there's a lot of birds and there's not as much food. You see birds all over a feeder. I've witnessed this myself up in North Carolina as birds were moving through during peak migration. It was very chilly. We was at a high altitude. And I just held a feeder up and I had six or seven birds on it, literally on each other's backs, two bills at a time into holes. That's a rare exception. But there were a lot of birds. They were very hungry. As you get back to normal situations in, in residential yards, you might have four, five, six, seven, eight birds and one or two feeders. They will fight, and there's not a lot you can do about it, but separate the feeders at least 10 feet or possibly around so they're visually separated will help some of the more timid birds get to the food and one won't be able to take over all the feeders.